people yeah. trying to put yeah. your interpretation on right. something. So do you think there is a lot of spinning done in politics and various other places? Sure. Uh, well, <sighs> sure. But do you think this one is spun correctly? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> on that ah, note, we will thank you for being here. It's good to have you here <laughs> thank as you always. Charlie. Thanks very, thank much. You very much. It is now 48 minutes after 8. More from Fashion Week in just a moment. Stay with us. <laughs> Trust in me. With Weight Watchers. This just in, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. The CNN Center right now is just beginning to work on this story, obviously calling our sources and trying to figure out exactly what happened, but clearly something relatively devastating happening this morning there on the south end of the island of Manhattan. That is, once again, a picture of one of the towers of the World Trade Center. We can see these pictures. It's obviously uh, something devastating has happened. And again, unconfirmed report that a plane has crashed into one of the towers there. We are efforting more information on this subject as it becomes available to you. Right now, we've got Sean Murtaugh. He is a CNN producer on the telephone right now. Sean, what can you tell us about what you know? This is uh, Sean Murtaugh. I just was uh, standing on the... Uh uh, Vice President of Finance. Sean. Vice President of Finance for CNN. Sean, we're on the air right now. What, what can you tell us about this situation? Hello? Yes, yeah, Sean, you're on the air yes, right yes. now. Uh, can, what can, go ahead. What can you tell us? I, I just witnessed a plane that appeared to be cruising uh, slightly lower than normal at altitude over New York City, and it appears to have crashed into, uh, I don't know which tower it is, but it hit directly in the middle of... Uh, one of the World Trade Center towers. Sean, what kind of plane? Was it a small plane, a, a it jet? Was a, uh, it was a jet. It uh, looked like a two-engine jet, um, maybe a 737. If every Capitol Hill scandal merits weeks of coverage, how much attention do two and a half million dead merit? It's a story we should have brought you long ago. This week on Nightline, we'd like to make up for that by finally telling you about the beauty and the tragedy of Congo. Three years, two and a half million dead. We thought you should know. We want to tell you what we know as we know it. But we just got a report in that there's been some sort of explosion at the World Trade Center in New York City. One report said, and we can't confirm any of this, that a plane may have hit one of the two towers of the World Trade Center, but again, you're seeing the live pictures here. We have no further details than that. We don't know anything about what they have concluded happened there this morning, but we're going to find out and, of course, make sure that everybody knows on the air. These are, of course, the two twin Trade Center buildings that are down at the foot of Manhattan, that they really are the beacons of New York. It was there that there was the explosion a couple of years ago uh, brought about by terrorists. We, that's all gone through the courts, but this, we don't know anything about, we don't know about anything that has happened here other than the fact that there's obviously been a major incident there, and we're going to go to a special report now from ABC News. This is an ABC News special report. Now, by the entire ABC network, uh, Good Morning America was in progress in the East Coast and the Midwest, but we're joined by the entire network just to show you some pictures at the foot of New York City. This is at the World Trade Center. Obviously, a major fire there, and there has been some sort of explosion. We don't fully know the details. There is one report, as of yet unconfirmed, that a plane has hit uh, the World Trade Center, and you can see that there is smoke there coming out of at least two sides of the building. And as you said, there are two towers, the tallest structures in Manhattan, on the island of Manhattan. We're trying to get people on the telephone to see what more we can learn. We have no idea if it was a plane 
Was it in any sense deliberate? Was it an accident? It does seem to be that there is considerable and, and truly terrifying damage on some of those floors at the top. Th this angle is a little deceptive. As you know, there are two Trade Center towers, and the second tower there is hidden behind uh, the first. This is uh, really almost the picture postcard of New York City. Um, it's the, uh, that and the Empire State Building, I guess, are the two most recognizable symbols of New York. There you can see uh, the two, well, we had there for just briefly the other angle of the World Trade Center towers, but this is uh, uh, confined to one of the towers on the upper floors. Uh, these buildings, uh, I think they're 110 stories each, so this would be in the, uh, in the top 15 or 20 floors there. You mentioned earlier that, of course, as we all know, years ago there was that terrorist attack. It took place down on the ground and in the underground levels and the garage levels. Uh, but again, that's not to imply that we have any reason yep. at this point to believe that this is, this is terrorism or not. We simply don't know. And in just a few minutes, Peter Jennings is going to be joining us from the news desk uptown where he's going to tell us everything that he knows. We also have Don Daler on the phone, and you know he's been with us on Good Morning America for a long time. And Don, where are you and what do you know? I'm about four or five blocks just north of the World Trade Center. And uh, at about 10, I would say 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, there was a loud sound that I, I can only describe as it sounded like a missile, not an airplane. Then there was a loud explosion and immediately lots of screaming out on the streets. Uh, and I don't want to cause any speculation, but that's the only way I could describe the sound. And it, and it was definitely not the sound of a prop plane or anything like that. And am I right? Are you a pilot? Well, I have flown. I do not have a pilot's license. But I, I grew up on military bases, and I know the sound of jets. And, and I've been in war zones and, and heard those kinds of different sounds. So again, not to cause any kind of undue speculation, but the sound itself was not of a prop plane. It was perhaps a jet, but it could have been a missile as well. Can you give me, was it, was it a whining sound, Don, or what? Yes, it was a, it was a uh, how to describe it? It was a high-pitched, but it had a, 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 a whooshing sound, not, not like a prop plane. Huh. And you didn't see anything, actually, in the air? No, I wasn't looking out, but we looked out immediately. You can see quite a lot of damage. Uh, it, if it was a, an airplane, it had to be huge because it hit way up in the World Trade Center. It w I would say it's probably uh, probably a good five, six of the way up to the top. Mm. There's a considerable amount of flame. There's damage on two sides that I can see. On the very north-facing side, there's where it looks like is the largest amount of damage. There's a gigantic hole that encompasses a number of floors. I would say maybe 10 to 15 floors. And then on the left side, which would be the east side, there's considerable damage as well and lots of flames and smoke coming out of it. You know, I, I don't know that people outside New York realize it, but these two buildings are essentially cities in and of themselves. I mean, there's 30 to 40,000 people, if I remember the number, and I'm doing this from memory, yes. number of people who actually work in these buildings. And this obviously occurred at the time that people were coming to work. Don, are you saying that this sound was striking enough that you heard it before you saw it? I noticed it before the explosion. I noticed a very, a sound like something was very low and shrieking across the sky. And then I heard the explosion. And which of the two towers is this? Because again, we're just seeing an angle that's a little deceptive. This is the West Tower. Mm-hmm. Now we're hearing uh, we're hearing somewhat uh, faintly in the background, Don, as you talk to us. Uh, sirens. Are there a lot of emergency vehicles already on the? Yeah, scene? they're descending. This part of New York City has quite a few emergency stations uh, all over, and I'm, I imagine it sounds like they're coming from every one of the stations. In fact, there's one just down the street that sounds like every truck they have is, is headed that way. We we see actually uh, we see two faces. I know you can't see the picture that our audience is seeing, but we see two faces of that tower. One seems to have a rather gaping large hole in it. Uh, the other face seems to have two holes in it. Uh, it's all somewhat obscured by smoke, one large, one, one somewhat smaller. Right. And, of course, we know there are a variety of offices there. There are financial offices there. There are advertising offices, all kinds. We can only hope that since it is still a little bit early in New York that maybe 
that maybe on some of those floors, some of the offices were still not open for business. You can now see there on that one side, if, well, you can see flames now coming actually out of two sides uh, of the building, and I, I'm uh, minimizing actually the number of, uh, of openings that are on those uh, two faces of the World Trade Center. There's multiple, it looks like, uh, holes With fire or openings, still going on. Uh, yeah. on. On both sides of the tower. As we've heard uh, before, we said earlier that there was at least one speculative report that an airplane had crashed in, whether deliberately or accidentally, we don't know. And they are continuing reports from people who say that, that they saw an airplane, one woman saying that she saw a jet going in. So again, Don, a jet screaming that low could be consistent with what you heard? Absolutely. It, it could be consistent with what I heard. What I know I, I, I did not hear was an airplane, any kind of a prop plane. And I think looking at the damage, I don't think there's any way possible that it would have been a pop, mm. prop plane. It's just too much damage to the building. Mm. It, it, what's deceptive about the World Trade Center is that it is so huge and so tall that the perspective is difficult to get from the ground. But when you look at the, the size of the hole, and if you look in, in context at one of the helicopters going around at a lower size, a helicopter is about the size of a regular Cessna, that kind of thing, the body of the plane. The hole is so much larger than and that helicopter that it, it would have to, if it was a, a, a jet, I would, I would have to speculate that it would have to be a larger than normal jet. I mean, a, larger than like a, a Citation or something like that. It's just such a gigantic hole, and it blew out the other side. And again, these, are, these buildings are almost a city block size building. So for it to have blown in this hole on the, on the north side, as well as the west side, it had to be a, a gigantic explosion. Well, obviously, we don't know if, this was, if, if it was a plane, and I and underline if it was. We don't know if it would have been deliberate or accidental. We know so little now other than what we can see from these pictures. But the interesting point is there are a number of small airports around New York uh, where uh, passenger uh, uh, corporate jets or private jets uh, will land and take off. And it's not uncommon if you have ever visited the World Trade Center. When you go up to the observation platforms at the top, uh, you can look down on airplanes that are either coming in for landings or taking off uh, from New York airports. But all pilots who fly in this area know very well where the World Trade Center is located. All the routes are very far or comfortably far away from the two towers. And not just private planes, too, because with some winds in some directions, even out of the big commercial airports, planes are routed quite close to New York. I've flown in from LaGuardia, even into LaGuardia, but having to go right by the World Trade Centers. But we emphasize this is all speculative at this point. And just to reset for all of you, this is a special report from ABC News and we are dealing and we have to underline this we are dealing purely in the realm of speculation here as to what may have happened at the World Trade Center obviously a major incident occurred here on the upper floors of one of the World Trade Center towers you can see multiple openings and flames coming out of at least two sides of the tower at the World Trade Center and we go just ahead, got a report that the Associated Press is now reporting that it was an aircraft so that's one more witness weighing in, or at least one more source weighing in on the fact that it was an aircraft of some kind. And as Don Daler reported, this occurred about 15 or 20 minutes ago in downtown New York. Uh, and New York time, uh, that would have been about uh, 20 minutes or a quarter of nine. This is a time when literally tens of thousands of people are coming to work uh, at the World Trade Center. Looking at the top of the building, you mentioned there's an observation center, and uh, I don't know what time it opens, but I think it opens fairly early, and people are up there at all hours of the day. Families, tourists coming in to look at the city of New York from atop it. Also, there, I don't know if this is the building that has the restaurant on top of it as well, but in those high floors, there are places where tourists team in the morning, even if the regular workers weren't in. And we remind you again that there was a terrorist bomb that did go off at the World Trade Center years ago. It was down in the garage level, but we have no Obviously reason. Obviously, no indication say over that this could have been related to that. that right. No. Don Daler, ABC's Don Daler, who is on the scene. Don, just give me some description again of what, you're, uh, what you can see now. What we're seeing, it appears that the, there is more and more fire and smoke enveloping the very top of the building. And... As fire crews 
are descending on this area. It, it, it does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. Oh my God. My. That looks like a second plane. Terrible. Just I didn't see a plane go in. That, that just exploded. We I, just saw another plane coming saw, in from the side. You did. I did that was out of absolute Yes, and that's view. the second explosion. You could see the plane come in just from the right-hand side of the screen. So this looks like it is oh, some sort of a concerted Deliberate. effort to attack the World Trade Center that is underway in downtown New York. We will see that scene again just to make sure we saw what we thought. We're going to give you a replay of what we just saw. And I, I must admit, I thought it was some sort of fire equipment coming in or some sort of observation plane. But it was obviously designed to attack the World Trade Center. We're going to show you that. Here's a replay of the videotape. In a second, that looks like a good-sized plane came in and hit the World Trade Center from the other side. So this is obviously, or would seem to be, and again, I'm dealing in speculation, but it would seem like there is a concerted attack against one of the to towers of the World Trade Center underway. We had seen a plane coming in from the other direction earlier. I'd noticed it had you, Charlie. I didn't know if it was that plane that then circled wide and came back from another direction, but we all watched it. And I just assumed. Don, that it could was... you hear that? Could you hear that plane as it came in? I did not hear that plane, but I had to step inside the window because the the fire crews were so loud, the sirens that I couldn't hear you. I got you. I did see the explosion, but the side of the building that the plane entered was just outside of my view. So all I saw was this huge fireball and the explosion. Well, the shot that we've got is now just from one side of the World Trade Center. But this is the shot again. This is moments ago of this, of this second plane coming in. And this is now in slow motion. Oh, this is terrifying. Awful. To watch powerless is a horror.